All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is July 6th. July? Did I say that weirdly? July 6th, Saturday. We got three MLB plays coming your way in today's video. You can see here, uh, yesterday we got one and two. That Mets and Pirates nerfy caches. Um, you look at the final score, you're like, no way, the nerfy cache. But it did. The Pirates hit seven home runs throughout the game. But we'll take the fact that nobody scored anything in the first inning. Um, the Michael Garcia here, under one and a half bases for plus money. Looked good through two at-bats. And then um, he hit a triple. So that kind of stinks. But again, even in the video yesterday, I said, you know what? This may be worth taking a slight little swing, no pun intended, for a plus 123 play. But in today's video, we have three plays coming your way. Um, obviously, we're still on the road. Hopefully, this sounds and looks okay. Um, we're a few days away from returning to the normal video format, but hopefully you guys appreciate the vacation videos anyways, because um, I'd rather get videos out with, uh, I guess, fewer plays or fewer breakdowns of the games than not get videos out as, uh, at all. So appreciate everyone that has tuned in um, and still supported throughout here. But uh, yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Play number one, we're going back to the category that we have absolutely been crushing uh, in the last month or so. We're looking at a nerfy here. We have the Astros and the Twins nerfy, which this is such a high scoring game yesterday. You're probably thinking that is absolutely crazy. Um, but nonetheless, I still do think that this could be uh, a nice little spot for us to uh, roll with today. Uh, looked good yesterday, even though it was a high scoring game. So hopefully kind of run that that one back but uh, when it comes to what both these teams have been doing on the season, Houston's 50-50. Uh, excuse me, on the season, Houston is 49-51 um, to the nerfy here. Uh, but when uh, when they're on the road, but when Hunter Brown's pitching, it goes up a little bit. He's actually cast three straight home uh, away starts. Excuse me, 57% of his starts on the road this season have resulted in nerfies. And like I said, three straight now. The one thing that concerns me, his last three starts, Angels, White Sox, Toronto, not the best of offenses. But nonetheless, the stats do still speak for themselves. Now we have Joe. Ryan on the bump for uh, the the Twins over here. He has cashed the Nerfy. Uh, excuse me, the, the Twins have cashed the Nerfy in five of their last six. But when Joe Ryan is at home, he's cashed in five of his last six as well. And he's faced some good offenses: Boston, New York, uh, Kansas City was another cash within there. So uh, I like his spot. And overall on this season, 63% of his home starts have resulted in Nerfy. So you do have two really good pitchers on the mound. Hunter Hunter Brown has had his struggles, obviously, but over. Overall, Hunter Brown uh, in the last, what, four or five starts looked really, really good. So hopefully he can continue doing his thing um, because I do trust Joe Ryan. Uh, honestly, he's been pitching very well as well. So we have two good pitchers. Yes, we have two good offenses, but you know what? There's plenty of innings to score runs later on in the game. Let's do what you did yesterday and go out there and cash this nerfy. So play number one for decent odds, minus 125 over on FD. I like the Astros and the Twins on the nerfy. And for play number two, I think we're just getting some value here. I have the Orioles on the first five run line. Um, you have Cave Povich on the mound, which is obviously going to be probably and most likely, um, you know, the reason why this line is where it is, as he's not the best that Baltimore has to, off uh, has to offer. But I still would take him, I think, over Lewis Medina on the mound for Oakland. So I don't mind this pitching matchup whatsoever. Uh, the thing that I do really like is going to be the fact that we have a really good offense going up against a, a meh offense now. Povich is going to be throwing from the left side, obviously, and that's going to be the side that Oakland does seem to hit a little bit better, so I'll give them a little bit of credit there. Um, but overall, this should be a spot in which, uh, you know, anything Oakland can do offensively, Baltimore can do better. Um, Povich is going to be facing a decent amount of, um, I believe it is, lefty arms there, um, but Medina is going to face a lot of lefty arms as well, and that's actually where he truly does struggle. So, again, any sort of pitching... Um, the takeaway that you want to uh, throw towards Povich and say that it's a negative, I feel like you can almost make the exact same argument for Medina. And then you go and look at these offenses. Like I said, you have an anything I can do better offense there. Um, but one last thing about Povich, he's going to throw a lot of fastballs. Oakland literally in the last 30 days, the worst team in terms of runs above average when trying to hit the fastball. So uh, again, I'm ignoring the pitching in this one almost and saying this offense should be able to go out there and do it uh, against righties in the last 30 days. Oakland fourth best average, first best WRC plus, first best OPS, first best, first best, first in ISO, first in slugging, and they're really good against righties on the road as well. So um, like this spot here for minus 110 odds, I think you're getting a far, far more talented team. So let's roll with that for pick number two. 
And then pick number three, uh, I know we're flying through this, guys, by the way, but before we do get to pick number three, I wanted to remind you that we have a sale going on over on FadeMe.store, the merch brand we have here on the channel. Go ahead and check it out. Everything is up to 30% off. No code needed or anything like that. It's already hard mark. So go check it out, guys. FadeMe.store, tons of cool products over there. I'm not rock rocking any right now, but they are awesome products, and I stand behind everything we release. That's FadeMe.store. Uh, play number three is going to be a player prop. King of the Bases reporting for duty here from hangover central um and we have ezekiel tovar under one and a half bases now i understand that it's risky and it burned us yesterday taking unders in this uh you know kc and colorado uh game here but overall i do think that this is a good spot he's hit the under actually he's yet to have a base in four straight games he's hit the under um in 52 percent of games this season at home he's hit the under uh, in 52 percent of games and up against a right-handed pitcher he's hit the under in a fair share as well so i do think that this could be a nice little spot to get some value here i think that this is more likely a, a minus 140 and beyond play but they are playing in colorado so you're getting a little bit of a you know an odds boost there but overall here um what i like is going to be the matchup against seth lugo uh, he's going to throw a lot of fastballs Tovar's Woba uh, on the season 327 when he goes up against a fastball drops down to 275 and it's also a pitch in which he strikes out a lot against this season averaging a 34% K rate against the fastball well guess what the next pitch is the slider for Lugo both numbers um, get worse again K rate jumps and then the Woba drops as well uh, then he gets sinker he hits that well he goes to curveball then um, as his I guess you could say fourth pitch, the only one. He only throws really four pitches. And even that curveball, Tovar strikes out a lot against. So I like the pitch mix in this one. And it's a guy that's not trending in a getting on base direction. So Ezekiel Tovar here under one and a half bases is going to be play number three. And that is going to wrap it up for the three plays for today's video. As always, keep an eye on the pinned comment. I list these out there. Um, and I'll also maybe add some plays or something like that. Make sure you guys are following me over on social as we're throwing out some fun parlays over the weekend and whatnot as well. But two recaps gap we have the Astros twins nerfy then we move into the Orioles first five run line and then we have Ezekiel Tovar under one and a half bases if you made it to this point in the video go ahead and comment seven uh, I understand that I could be whispering it's not as good quality I understand all that but like I said hopefully we can appreciate the uh, the the the, the road videos and just getting videos out instead of taking say you know five six seven days off saying you know what i'm good here no i want to grind i want to keep growing this thing and take this thing to the moon so we're going to make videos even when we are on vacation but hope you guys appreciate that comment seven if you made it in this far into the video we'll catch you guys in the next one right peace out